Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Diamond Ultra and I'll be showing you the location of the Engine Bludgeon Blueprint in Dying Light 2. Now before you start getting this one, you need to at least talk to Sophie for the first time and then this quest will be open for you. Now this blueprint is a quest blueprint. You get this one by completing the ball as in your court quest and you get this by talking to this guy named Dodger. Now in this mission there are a couple of choices for you, you know, different dialogues and different kind of actions but these do not matter as long as you complete the quest you will receive the weapon so that's just the quick and easy answer for you guys now I do have a couple tips for you one of them being that uh, when you go to find his little helper instead of going through the infected inside the building if you go to the side you will find a secret kind of entrance or I guess just a window it's not really a secret entrance just go around to the side, you can skip all of the infected, and then go up the pipe to find his secret uh, hideout. And after that, uh, there's a little Night Runner hideout on the side of where you know he tells you to go. So you can go there to skip to the night time, which I'm pretty sure you're, you have to do in order to complete the mission. Now after you've completed the mission, you've gotten the stuff, you'll have two choices, either to fight these guys or to split with them now once again it doesn't matter what you do you can fight or split and when you're done fighting them you can go back to the night runner hideout right next to you and sleep through the night so that you can go back to hubert during the day and avoid the volatiles and after that all you have to do is go back to dodger at the bazaar and you'll get the blueprint easily now a little bit about the weapon it is quite it's all right. I mean, I wouldn't really call it the best, but for beginners or for people moving into this part of the story, it is a very nice weapon to have and use throughout the rest of your playthrough. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you found it helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you find yourself coming back, why not subscribe? You're coming back anyways. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.